Okay, so my paint's now open. I'm going to put my gloves on. I did have Lowe's stir the paint really good. So, this is satin white. There's no clumps on the bottom or anything. So we're pretty good. And again, I am an amateur painter. This is my first job that I've ever done. I have never painted a room. Never. I've done a couple little things, chairs, antique a uh, rocking chair on my front porch a couple weeks ago but never have I painted a room or anything All right. goes with the Since we're not going to be painting the ceiling, we're going to be painting that wall first. Actually, I'm going to test it on that cardboard to begin with. So, I'm going to take it and put it like that. Now, I have this cup here that I'm going to use to fill my paint container. So... That. I'm going to try to be as clean as I possibly can with this because I don't want to really make a mess. And because I've never used this before, I'm not going to fill it up all the way. So it does have, so yeah, you fill it up to the 45 fluid ounce line, and I filled it just under that. Didn't want to fill it up quite all the way. of this container 
We are going to screw it on the bottom of the Wagner 3000. Now some videos I watched, it said dial it all the way up for paint. Some guys said they wanted it all the way up. Now see if you have this head this way. Now you spray it up and down, as you can tell like this. This one is for side to side. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go side to side to begin with. This dial here on the side right here. This is for the width of the paint. We're going to want thick width. So we're going to go with the thick width dial. And right now, and yeah. I'm gonna use the gloves when I fill up, but right now the gloves are actually getting in my way. So, this right here, this dial here is the amount of air, or yeah, the amount of air, or the amount of paint that will come out of the gun. So, it goes all the way up to 12. We're going to start out on about, I'm going to start out on an 8 because it's not a super thick paint. If it was a super thick paint, then we would start out on a, tw on a higher, higher number. However, it's not a super, super thick paint. So... Let's see what the Wagner Flexio 3000 does. Here we go. All right, so. All right, I think I was mistaken on the direction of the tip. So let's turn the tip this way and I was. So, I think she might be pretty easy, guys. Let's get a go at it and see what we can get accomplished here pretty quick. Get some stuff out of the way and let's go to town. Let's shut this window and let's go to town. Um, as a matter of fact, we're gonna bring this step stool over here, and you always want to start from the top. And if I'm going to start up high, I am going to put my goggles on. So I put my goggles on.
that's what I did in just a couple minutes. I think we might need to refill and we're going to need to turn it around so I can get the ceiling. So let's go ahead and see what it's like to turn it around and see how much paint we used that quick. We really didn't use all of the paint. We use, there's still a little over a third of the paint left. But I do want to turn it around so I can do the ceiling in that area. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the ceiling and turn that. Because you are supposed to do the ceiling first. I just wanted to see how that would work. Or I might finish this back wall so that I can open that window. It does seem to be a pretty beneficial piece of equipment. It really does. I mean, for a 100% amateur to be using this, never used it before, went straight to Lowe's, picked it up, bought paint, taped this room off, came straight in here, and started using it. That's how it happened. Now, if this was my house and not a rental apartment that I'm renting, that my slumlord said 